Hello and welcome to my first tutorial on building UIs in Python using enamel. First I'm going to talk about what you have to install to get enamel up and running. I'm on Windows and I already installed Python 2.7. Enamel does not currently work with any of the 3.0 or higher branches. So first we want to install virtual env with pip using pip install virtual env and you might have to restart your terminal for that to work. Next we want to create a virtual environment using virtual env v e n v. And what this does is it creates a, uh, a private environment for our packages so when you build the app later it only packages the dependencies that the app actually needs. Next we want to activate this using the activate command. So venv on Windows it's in scripts and activate. And you'll know that it's activated with this venv at the beginning. So now when we run pip within this, it's in the virtual environment. So any packages we install in here do not go into our global Python. So if we install enamel using pip, we do pip install enamel and that will download all the required packages. Okay, and if you look at this, you can see there's a bunch of errors because we didn't have the C++ compiler for Python installed. It actually gives us a link here and we can go and download it or you can search in uh, Google or whatever um, for the package. So I've already downloaded that and I'll go ahead and install it. Okay, now let's run pip install enamel again and this time it should work. Okay, and enamel also needs either PySide or PyQt. So what we're going to do is we're going to download PyQt from um, this website that has Python extension packages for Windows. So we go here and look for Qt, PyQt4, and download the one for your version of Python and your um, 64.32. Okay, and once this is finished downloading, then we want to go into the downloads folder within our virtual environment and install a package. And just to verify everything, we can do pip list. And that will show that enamel is installed, atom is installed, and pyqt is installed. Now I like to use Eclipse, so I'm going to import everything into Eclipse. We can tell it to use our virtual environment, configure an interpreter not listed, new, tutorial, on Windows it's in the scripts folder, and you just set it to the Python executable, select all and apply. Hit OK and choose the correct interpreter and it will change it over here. Now let's make a new file called main main.py and also a file called enamel.py or actually view.enamel, sorry. Okay, so enamel has two different um, basic files that you need. You need a, a launcher script and a view or enamel definition file. So in our launcher script, this is just a basic Python file all we have to do is import enamel. Um, we can do this in a main function. 
and to import an enamel view, you have to do everything within the context context of enamel imports. So we do with enamel imports from view import main. Then what we have to do is we have to declare an instance of that view because that's just like importing a class in enamel. So we define this and we can pass in any arguments. Message hello world from enamel. And you also have to call view.show on your main window class. Let's create the launcher. Now there's one more thing. With enamel, you can have multiple frameworks. Um, Enamel's design allows it to be implemented using basically any widget framework. Um, the built-in one is using Qt, so that's what we're going to use. Enamel Qt, Qt application, import Qt application. And we have to define an instance of this. App equals Qt application. And then finally at this end, we have to start this. And if you're familiar with Qt, that's the same as running um, the execute function on uh, the Qt application. Okay, now we have to define our enamel view. So enamel puts everything into an API module that you can import using from enamel widgets.api. And we want to import widget, container, and label just for our whole web application. Enamel defines a new keyword called enamel def, which is similar to Python's class definition. And we're going to call this main. And it's going to extend the window. We're going to set an attribute message to default. We're going to create a container and a label. And we're going to set the text of that label to the message. So as we can see, we have a main window containing a container and a label with text message. Over here in our main, we're importing that main. We're setting an instance, and let's pass the message equals hello world. Now if we run this, we get hello world. If we get rid of this message, it will use the default for whatever is set for that attribute. Um, which was default. So uh, that's uh, a simple introduction to how to use an AML.